With the massive shortage of cores worldwide coupled with various complicated external factors the whole world's wafer industry is in a fever state and chip makers such as Intel, Samsung, TSMC and SMIC have all started large-scale production not only China, the United States, Japan, South Korea, Europe everyone is frantically developing their own chips especially in the chip industry according to the latest published data. In December this year China's chip production capacity reached 29.94 billion and Increase of 1.9% over the same period of the previous year however from January to December this year China's IC chip production reached 359.43 billion and increase of 33.3% over the same period of the previous year last year's 16.2% growth rate was twice as fast as the same period last year and outpaced the 25.1%. Growth rate of the global semiconductor industry according to Korean media reports this comes on the heels of news that China's semiconductor capacity will surpass that of Europe and Japan by 2021 becoming the world's third largest economy after the United States and South Korea Korean media also predicted that China will overtake South Korea within two years to become the world's second largest semiconductor manufacturer after the United States in fact China's chip industry is growing rapidly in 2021 with both Chanjong storage and changing. Storage occupying 3 to 4 percent of the world market, which has reduced China's demand for memory. Chipsmith's capacity and revenue, on the other hand, are growing steady. Two occupies 10 of the global market worldwide. A large part of China's wafer production base is located in China. Therefore, within two years, China will be able to surpass South Korea and rank second in the world. China, as a major technology country, is relatively backward in the development of the semiconductor industry and has long depended on foreign imports. When it comes to chips therefore as the country with the world's largest demand for chips after losing the United States as a source of supply on the one hand for a rainy day on the other hand to meet current demand China has increased its imports of other sources of supply in the context of the surge in demand South Korea's chip exports to China has also achieved significant growth the relevant data said that South Korea's exports of semiconductors to China this year accounted for more than 40. Percent of total exports of semiconductor doctors can be said to have earned a lot of money of course under the strong influence of the surge in chip exports South Korea's total year-on-year -year growth of 12.6% in foreign exports in December 2021 achieving the largest increase in recent times previously as the world's largest fab TSMC in the United States chip restrictions at the moment. Refused to OEM for Chinese customers such as Huawei which caused a certain impact on China at the same time. Also brought opportunities for other countries such as South Korean suppliers are seizing the opportunity to occupy this market left blank South Korea's giant Samsung for example in the Chinese customers to increase the order volume at the same time it is also accelerating its entry into the market of course the Chinese side also had to be nervous and this chip crisis began to focus on seeking a breakthrough in the bottleneck of Fangfa and some Chinese companies such as ZTE also gradually in the Semiconductor manufacturing has a certain development and take off for the United States now against China's means I would like to say that the United States this time is the wrong calculation just recently the Biden administration officially signed the chip bill which clearly states that the bill wants to unite Japan South Korea Taiwan to form a global chip strategy organization known as the chip for party alliance the reason given subsequently is also very funny saying what to enhance the Manufacturing strength of the United States and its allies really shameless however just after the first foot the United States showed the fox's tail behind the bill also stipulates that for participating members need to be in 10 years cannot provide China with 14 nanometer chip manufacturing technology in order to further pull the strings the US government also shelled out $52 billion as a subsidy. In other words as long as you agree this money is yours this is not to suppress the Development of Chinese chips although the bill has thousands of pages but the whole summed up in one sentence to curb the development of Chinese chips is not the enactment of the chip bill want to curb the development of Chinese chips. How can this let you get away with it in the old US complacency China announced that the pure Chinese 14 nanometer chip began to implement mass production shattering the old US illusions in one fell swoop I have mass production you this bill to limit who this can put the old US angry just signed the bill in the blink of an eye into thousands of pieces of scrap paper then the question arises the United States wants to form a four-party alliance of chips can contain the development of Chinese. 
chips and what is the significance to China behind the mass production of 14 nanometers and nowadays what is China's position in the field of chips in this issue Xiang Nan will bring you together to talk about the topic of China's core China breaks through the blockade once again in the US-China technology war before China's 14 nanometer chip did not mass production the vast majority of China's chips rely on imports although relying on imports but you can hardly imagine how serious China's Dependence on imported ships 2019 China's imports of chips required 300 billion US dollars while imports of oil in the same year only cost 240 billion US dollars only in the past year China's chip imports climbed to 432.6 billion US dollars after entering by the first half of 2020 China imported 279 point. 7 billion integrated circuits spending 1.35 trillion yuan of which chips are occupying 15 of China's total imports of goods in the first half of the year which is a horrible data therefore a breakthrough in the field of chips is already imminent and after China's 14 nanometers to achieve mass production some people say this is not something to be happy like Samsung TSMC or mass production of 7 nanometer chips but also began to tackle 3 nanometer chips China is still lagging behind although 14 nanometer chip is not the most advanced but it is the most widely used such as cars communication equipment intelligent devices etc you know in the chip industry the 28 nanometer Process is a watershed greater than 28 nanometers is a low-end chip and less than 28 nanometers for high-end chips it is clear that China's mass-produced 14 nanometer chip has stepped into the ranks of high-end chips and China is the only country in the world with a high-end chip manufacturing industry chain which is beyond the reach of other countries from the side also shows that China has a lot of potential for development what's more China also has a spirit of not being willing to submit to Others from the two bombs in one star nuclear power aircraft carriers etc. which is not China's later to take the lead the mass production of 14 nanometers chips is a good start but at the same time this also makes the West feel a huge threat now in order to further curb the development of China's chip field the United States is trying to jointly with Japan South Korea China and Taiwan want to form a chip for party alliance to suppress China's ship development so the alliance can be as the United States wants it China has a huge market demand manufacturing advantages the world's largest consumer market this is undoubtedly a huge business opportunity for the semiconductor industry it is understood that last year global chip sales of 555.9 billion dollars while the Chinese market sales reached 192.5 billion dollars from this aspect of interest Alone it has become a major obstacle for the United States to form a four-party alliance not to mention how to contain the development of Chinese chips second 40% of the global IT industry products are produced in China so China is also an important source of semiconductors key materials and parts of the country in addition the chip for party alliance also has a greater conflict of interest once the excessive cooperation with the United States the companies will face technology outflow the loss of leading edge in the field and after the United States issued the news of the formation of the four-party alliance the Strongest reaction is South Korea. South Korea is the first to propose no restrictions on trade with China. The United States simply will not compromise because the purpose of the four party alliance is clear to curb the development of China in the field of chips. Once the compromise, then the four party alliance will exist in name only. The reason why South Korea did so all to stem from South Korea's economy is highly dependent. On China 2021, bilateral trade between China and South Korea exceeded. 300 billion US dollars and in July this year South Korea's exports to China for 8 billion US dollars total imports from China up to 9.6 billion US dollars.